Last year we introduced an industry game changer, the NXG 12600, but we won't stop there. Today, after a few years in the making and care of many of the world's most visionary engineers, SLM Solutions is proud to add a new technology to its portfolio. One that will enable you to realize even more potential while saving on costs, build times and powder usage. One that allows for previously impossible designs to be created. Take a look, we can't wait to share it with you. Welcome to a faster future, an industry agnostic future, a support free future, an open architecture future. Welcome to the world of free float. The time for industrial scale support free printing has come, but why hear it from me when you can hear about this technology from the man himself? Our chief engineer Dieter Schwarzer, a living legend in additive and one of the original patent holders at the heart of this technology that drives the whole industry. If I remember back in 1996, it took 24 hours to build a part that is the size of a matchbox. And of course we dreamt at that time already to be faster. but. If we uh, look at today's technology, if we can print such a, a matchbox parts in, in terms of minutes, that's, that's what I didn't expect at that time. Free float will, will have a big impact, I think, on, on the industry and on, on the usage of additive manufacturing. The constraints that were there are now uh, heavily reduced. And so I expect really that uh, uh, free float will help our customers to reduce the cost per part. It's clear that's, uh, that's one of the things that industry uh, is waiting for. Until today, when we built metal parts, there was something called support structures. And uh, they were needed. Supports really have two main functions. A, it's uh, to keep the part stable, and B, whenever we're melting metal powder, we're adding a lot of heat to that. So it is also to sort of suck that heat out of the mold, uh, out of the molten material. But then afterwards, you actually have to reduce support structures. And you do that by manually clipping them away. It's additional labor time, it's additional costs, and uh, it sort of prevents the part from being ready. So what FreeFlow does, it automatically reduces the support structures as much as possible so that you reduce the amount of post-processing, therefore save labor time and save cost and actually have the part finished in your hands even sooner. FreeFloat gives us the opportunity to try more, to, to hit other limits that we weren't able to hit before, just because of the design freedom that we have now. We can go ahead and rethink throughout the geometries that we've gone through in the past and try to figure out if we can build them now if they weren't able to be built before. So bionic design is something that we can really take from nature because nature has been best at explaining us how things should be designed in the most efficient way. Just think of a tree. Uh, you know, a tree consists of several components, if you will, uh, sort of the stem and the branches and the leaves. And uh, that design hasn't really changed uh, since, yeah, since forever. So if you take that design from nature and try to imitate that, that is now possible with free float and not just for trees, but for actual industrial applications out of metal parts. Let's talk about the other technologies that are on the market that could also be used for support-free printing. They are making use of a more point-to-point -point exposure. Imagine you would draw a circle. You can draw that circle continuously in one move, or you can subdivide that circle in little portions and jump from one portion to the other. And then you have not only to draw the circle once, but you have to draw it maybe three or four or five times. And there is where the time is lost for, for this kind of technologies. And we do not use that. This is our free flow technology that enables us to reduce the supports without losing time. We invested 
heavily in the key enablers for free float. Key enablers such as the optimized interaction of the laser beam with a powder bed, our market leading gas flow and management system, and our mostly frictionless recoding mechanism, which works bi directional with the brush recoder. Instead of using one uniform parameter set across the whole build job, we apply adaptive parameters matching the local requirements of the parts. This eliminates support structures to the absolute minimum, delivers premium part quality and further increases the freedom of design of the selective laser melting process. Free float can be used for each material. It is not specific for any material and we can benefit uh, building each material with the free float technology in the future. Free float compensates the different thermal connectivity between solid and powder material. It can give an advantage to the LPBF process for materials with poor thermal connectivity in particular. Up until now, the 45 degree rule, so to speak, um, has always been around. So that means whenever your part angles at an angle of lower than 45 degrees, you would have to add supports. And this is no longer necessary with free float. We can now print overhangs to free float with low angles of 10 degrees in long range geometry and 5 degrees in short range geometry. We can also increase the diameter of internal cooling channels, create thinner walls and sharper edges with reduced peel up. We also have improved finish on the surfaces that we print and higher density, which gives us less porosity in downscan areas. The space the supports usually take out is now free for a better part orientation or in some cases for more parts to be printed. There is also a significant reduction in the internal stresses of the part. The overall process is really simple. So you start with an SLM file like you've always done. You take it and uh, we added another step that we call additional pre-processing. During that, you apply so-called profiles to the part specifically where you need it. Then you export a whole new SLM file that includes the free flow technology and you're good to go. So overall, what you get when you consider all of these factors is a huge boost in productivity. The time for industrial scale support free printing has come. And unlike other companies, FreeFloat is not just for the NHG 12600. In fact, it's available for most of the SLM solution systems in our portfolio. Why? Because we strive to make every new piece of technology meet the demands of every previously available and built machine. We believe that creating truly open architecture is the only way to bring additive manufacturing to its true potential. I'm so proud to say that FreeFloat is another element in our open architecture ecosystem. Our latest technology to disrupt the future, and it's ready to be implemented now. Today you can design bolder, design freer, design with less limitations. Today you can work faster, work more productively, work better. Today you can go to the place that will take you to the next level. Now that is disruption. Let's do that together. Let's go there.